Hey guys, Diamani Extreme Uber Rides here again, bringing you this new video of the absolute worst ride I have ever given since I started driving. And this video is actually a perfect example of an increasingly common type of scam I've been experiencing called short stopping. Something that all drivers will eventually run into out in the wild. A short stop scam is pretty simple. The passenger enters a false destination into the app, which is a much shorter ride than the distance to their real destination. And then once you arrive at the false address, they either try to convince you to drive the rest of the way for free, or they offer to pay you cash for the remainder of the trip. Their goal is always the same, to save a few bucks on their ride at the driver's expense. In this example, I'll show you how to deal with a passenger who pulls this scam on you, and how to respond when the road gets more than a little bumpy. Now right from the get-go, I do not like this passenger. Anyone who gets into my car without acknowledging my existence at all is obviously a total jerk and the fact that he was yakking loudly on his cell phone made everything that much worse. He pretty much doesn't talk the entire ride to the destination, except to tell me that he's got to change into his gym clothes, which isn't totally unheard of, but it is a little bit weird. Now once we reach his false destination, he starts the short stop scam routine, and I'll just let the video speak for itself from here. Yeah, man. Uh, so I actually need to go to the one across town, downtown. So, oh, um, you can call another Uber, but this is the address you put in. So this is where I have to let you out. This isn't the one I need to go to. So when I put in the address on Uber, this is the only one that popped up. Uh, yeah, like I said, you're going to have to call another Uber. I might be your driver, but I have to let you out here. I can't keep driving. If I call another Uber though, it'll cost quite a bit more money and I actually have five dollars I can give you right now. And since I'm already in the car, you can just drive me there for five bucks. I'm not gonna drive you there for five bucks. When I go online, I'm insured. If I'm offline, I'm not insured. But I don't really understand. So this isn't the place I need to go and you took me to the wrong place. This is the address you put into the app. So this is where I have to drop you. Well, if this was the only address that came up on the app, then maybe it's something that you should be responsible for. No, that's not how this works. You put your finger on the map, and we went there. Well, whatever happened, I just need to get to the other one, is all I'm saying. Okay, you can get out of my car and call another Uber, and they'll take you there. I don't understand why I would have to get out of your car to call another Uber when you're already an Uber. So I'm already right. in an Uber. I've completed the ride that you requested. Yeah, but it took me to the wrong address. You put in the wrong address. Yeah, but that wasn't my fault. Whose fault was it? Well, if it was Uber's fault, if it was the only address that came up on the on the map. You can call Uber, but I have to let you out here. Well, so you would drive me if I called another Uber? I might be your driver, but... but I'm already in the car, so why don't you just drive me and I can give you the cash? At this point, I don't really want to drive you anywhere. Well, if I gave you t uh, five bucks, then you could drive me, and then you would make more I don't money want than five dollars. I want you out of my car. I'm not going to get out of your car when I'm already in an Uber. I'm not going to call another Uber and wait around for another fifteen minutes just so another Uber can drive me to the athletic club. You put in the wrong address. It's not my fault. Okay. Well, then please drive me to the right address. I can give you the address right now. You need to get out of my car and call another Uber. I can give you five dollars, and you can drive me to the right address. I don't want your five dollars. I don't understand why you wouldn't do that. It doesn't make any sense. You'd make more money this way than you would going through Uber. This is my car. I don't want you in my car anymore. Well, I'm not getting out. Am I going to have to take you out of my car? No, you could just drive me. I don't want to drive you. I don't understand. You're making way bigger a deal out of this than it is. Just this is the ride you me. requested. I took you there. Now get out of my car. I'm not going to get out. You don't have to. You don't have to. You're losing money right now and I could give you I money. I am losing money. You're a driver, so just drive I don't me. want your money. I want you out of my car. I'm not getting out. It doesn't make any sense. This isn't where I need to be. But that's not my fault. So I'll just drive me. I'm not going to drive you. Why? Because I don't want to. I don't want you in my car. I'm not getting out. You're not going to get out? No, not when you can drive me. I'll give you $5. I don't want $5. I don't want any of your money. Well, I you picked me up, so it's your responsibility to drive me to the right place. If you leave me here, what this am I is the right to? place. Look, that's exactly where you requested to go. I'm not getting out. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to pull you out of my car. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You are not going to pull me out of your car. How much do you want to bet? 
I will give you five dollars just I to drive five me. I don't want five dollars. I want you deal. out of my car. There's no reason. This is your last chance. I'm not getting out. It doesn't make. You're not pulling me out. What's up? Are you gonna steal my car now? No, I just want you to drive me to the right place. Okay, I don't want to drive you anywhere, and now you've stolen my car. No, I didn't you drive know. away with it. What? You can get, get in if you car. want. Do you want to get in? You can drive me to the right place. I don't want to get in with you. Do you want to ride? I don't want to ride. I want my car back. You can download Uber. How do you use the shift knob? Oh, there's a button on the back. No, oh, thank you. Get out of my car. What? Get out of my car. No. Yes. No, you can get in if you want. I'm going to get in on the passenger in the, in the driver's seat. Later, what dude. What are you doing? Dude, I'm not really going to steal your car. What? I'm not really going to steal your car. I'll give it back, though. I'll let you in if you drive me to the right place for five bucks. I don't want your money. Five bucks or you can't get back in. Get out of my car. I'll give you five bucks. Five dollars? Yeah. For my car. Would you drive me to the right place? You requested the wrong place. Well, whatever. It's uh, I can't change that now. Five bucks. Okay, fine. All right. And you'll drive me to the right place? Sure, yeah. Hey, no! All right, you guys, so obviously this ride went completely off the road, taking a few unexpected right-hand turns, but in the end, I hope I showed you exactly how to handle a short-stop situation where your passenger refuses to exit your vehicle to the point where you are forced to physically remove them from your car, but while doing so, the passenger locks you out of your own car and then pretends to drive away with it before coming back and holding your car hostage until you accept his demands. And if not, well, then I hope you just enjoy the ride. Don't forget to crash into that subscribe button, hit like, and I'll see you down the road.